Welcome back to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I didn't mean to be as gone for as long as I was. This is very frustrating with all these microphone problems, which I'm still not certain I've worked out. And the fact that I've been stuck in the mysterious East for it feels like eons. With that being said, the only way to go is forward. So let's get back into the thick of it. Ah, yes, the frog. Oh, I see wasps. I see paper wasps. Ah. Dear God! Oh, you piece of shit! Now then, oh God! For fuck's sakes! Is there just literally no way to dodge that one? Nice shot! I just realized that reminds me of one of my attacks in the first game. Choke on a dick! You wretched pile! Perhaps if I rang that gob, he'll wake up. That certainly took long enough. Well, I can't get up there, so I'll try to uh, swing you with my arms. Sorry, bad reference. It's not the correct button. Oh. Alright, I can't hit it from anywhere. What exactly am I supposed to be doing here? I'll aim real high. No, I just don't have the range I need. Yep. I don't know if the game's getting louder or if in addition to the other problems my microphones are getting quieter. Maybe the way my computer records sound is futzing up. Okay. But uh Oh, 
I really had to crank the mic and turn down the game sound today. I feel like I, it sounds to me like I'm on the phone, which is, uh, not great. Of course. No useless words of wisdom. Well, screw you too. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Oh, hey. How did I actually get in here? Looks like that's the only door. Oh, he just blew that hole open, so I got up here from here. Yes, now I remember. Well, let's take a look around. Really? It seems pretty obvious to me, and I've never designed a video game level, but it seems pretty obvious to me that if your character has the ability to shrink below a certain height, you shouldn't make any gaps in the wall of that size if you don't want her to go in. The fact that they're all keyholes is kind of disappointing. Damn it. It. Man. Now you instantly know just by looking whether or not you'll be able to go into a spot. Because it will be shaped like a keyhole. Oh no, I suppose I'm nitpicking. I've heard of people complaining about how uh, modern Zelda games put cracks on walls when uh, in the early games you just had to figure it out by bombing every available wall. That was the sound of a rattlesnake. Floating Alice. Whoa. Oh, you stay out of this. Oh, this is a hornet's nest. Assuming it's supposed to be their base. I mean, wasp nests are made of this weird papery stuff, but hey. Mind you, hornet's nests aren't made of meat either, but it... And I'm rambling. Let's get on to this. Oh, it just makes it so much lovelier. Kitty! Well, I can't see a problem doing this. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. 
That was another lion from the first game. He gave it just as little context then as he did now. It was one of the random, I have nothing to say about this particular situation lines. Oh god. Check these teeth. Closing in. Mm -mm -mm. Oh god. Oh yes, I've forgotten about those. Aren't they lovely? Hang on, that's a nose. Sorry, just being stupid. Oh! That was not perhaps my smartest move. No! Your Kung Fu is weak! Don't think I've forgotten about you. Oh! What in the hell? This isn't treasure. Not breakable, and much farther away than I thought. Regrettably, the creature has to die for its image to be properly captured. The subjects of art often suffer. I know what kind of sick, twisted art you've been practicing, but, uh. I saw a nose appear up there. Oh well, I got a memory out of it. And hiding a snout in a snout room strikes me as somewhat unfair.
Well then, let's get a move on. Those enemies aren't going to carve themselves up like Christmas turkeys. Oh, Rapture, another one of these. That guy is stoked about another one of these levels. This one always seems to take me really close to the top of the mountain at long fucking last. Let's just leave this place and its creepy noises behind. A restless seeker on private business arrived in the misery infested land. She, despite ignorance, uncertainty, and unhappiness in her own life, could not endure to see them suffering. She began to fight against the savage murderers, abusers, and defilers without quite knowing why or for whose sake she truly fought or how the struggle would end. This fairy tale has an oddly specific uh, meaning to it. Oh no, no goods down there. Thank you, Switch. Oh god! Oh well, that was just embarrassing. Oh, right. Those guys didn't even have weapons. Those are the civilian wasps. No! But there are delicious peach. Really wish I could look down. Thank you. Is it me or is the music here really loud? Stupid 2D physics. Oh. I played a Flash game once, where one of the big, I don't know, gimmick twists, whatever you want to call it, was that spikes were totally harmless if you walked through them from the side. Which totally makes sense, when you think about it. I mean, they're spikes, not razor blades. You don't see that kind of thinking a lot in video games. Oh god! The specific placement of that cannon reminds me of one of those Super Mario Brothers levels you see people create where everything is deliberately 
as annoying as per uh, as uh, humanly possible. Anyway, I'll continue this wet mess in the next episode of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.